All right, guys, welcome back. We have another question from chapter four. Uh, we need to replace the loading on the frame by a single resultant force. And we need to specify uh, where its line of action intersect a vertical line along member AB. And we need to specify the distance from point A. So basically, we have to figure out uh, one single force that, let's say, is applying somewhere in here. And let's call it FR. And what we need to do is to specify this distance X or whatever we want to call it from point A. Let's just put it D just to make it less confusing. So before we start, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and share the content with your friends that might find this helpful. And let's get started. So first thing we need to find the single resulting force in here and we can call it fr and for that we can divide this to two component of x and y so let's call the x like that and fr y and let's find the first part or the sum of all forces in x direction so as we can see the only force in x direction is the 600 newton force and let's call our x and y in this direction for the positive side. So as we can see, the only x component is the 600 Newton force. And if we want to go with the sum of all forces in y direction, we'll see that we have three forces and all of them are in the negative direction of y. So we have minus 200. We have minus 400 and another minus 200. And this would give us minus 800 Newton. And the negative sign shows that the force is downward and same for the X. Now that we have uh, the force in X and Y direction, what we can do is we have FR. And if we want to find the magnitude of FR, we have the X component squared plus y component squared and if we do that we basically have 600 plus 800 and this would give us 1000 so now that we have the force fr i'm going to show it on the figure too so we have if we continue this so basically this is our fry and this will be our fr x and if we call this angle theta if we want to find theta if we do tangent reverse of fr y over fr x we can find our theta so basically we are doing the opposite over adjacent for finding the theta that we showed in here so we have tangent reverse of 800 divided by 600 and if we do that we'll get the angle 53.1 and we don't need to be worried about the negative signs in here because we know that the angle that we are finding at the end is so we found the force first of all 100 a thousand newton for the magnitude and the angle so basically we we already applied the direction to finding this angle and what we'll look and what we care about is just right triangle that we have in here. This angle is theta. We know the magnitude of this side is 800 and the magnitude of this side is 600. So we don't need to be worried about the, the negative sign that we have for y. And if we calculate that, we'll get 53.1 degrees and that would be the final answer for the first part of the question, which we needed to find a single resultant force for all the forces that are that are applying in this uh, frame uh, i can clean up and we move on to the second part which is finding the distance d and for this part we need a moment about point a and with that the moment of uh the sum of all moments of these four forces that we have in the system has to be equal the moment of fr about point a so i'm just going to clean up and we'll get into that shortly all right so what we found at the end for fr was 
1000 and the distance and the angle was so now we need to find the moment of all forces about point a and if we look at the fr we'll see that fry won't make any moment about point a since it's along the line that connects a to uh where the force is applying so the only moment for that one is the moment of frx and we're gonna call counterclockwise positive as always but this moment as we can see is in this direction which is clockwise so it will be a negative moment so that would be the force and the distance will be simply d or the unknown that we are looking for uh, by the way i'm using the 2d shortcut that we have for finding the moment uh in 2d questions i'm gonna put the link in the description below uh, this is a simple version because all, all of our forces are in x and y direction. But if we have uh, forces that have both x and y component, it will get a little bit trickier. But all we need to do is to break down all the forces in x and y component. And we are looking for the vertical distance uh, from the point that we are finding the moment about, which in this question is A, to the line of action of the force. So if you want to start with the moment of 600, this will be the line of action for the 600 and the distance that we have for the vertical distance, I should say, uh, to the force will be the 1.5 that we have. So we can see the moment of 600 is also clockwise, so negative and the distance will be 1.5. So the next moment would be, uh, we can go with the moment of the... The 200 force that we have in here, and as we can see, that 200 is also along the uh, line that connects A to, to B, so we don't have any moment for the 200 Newton force. So, no moment for that uh, specific force. We can move on to the 400 Newton force. Again, we have a clockwise moment, and distance this time will be 0.5, and the last force is the 200 here which again we have a negative force a negative moment since it's a clockwise moment and this time the distance will be uh this distance over here so again we are continuing the line of action and distance vertical distance would be this part which is basically 0.5 plus 0.5 which is one and we know uh, frx from the previous part was the x component of the fr we found 600 times d which is the unknown that we are like looking for and if we calculate this we'll get d 2.17 meter and this would be the final answer for this question um, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and let me know if you have any specific problems uh, from the three textbooks that we are covering in this channel and I'd be happy to cover it in the next videos. You guys take care and I'll see you in the next one.